It is Sunday morning. I'm watching Daniel for the morning. My goal for the day is a little bit weird. It's not to get something done. It's to get eight hours of sleep tonight, which means going to sleep before 1030. I think I can do it, but that contradicts directly all of my other goals, such as filming at demos with Angular or getting down to inbox zero. But I think we're gonna optimize for sleep today and just see how that feels tomorrow. And always, I need to edit all of the footage of this little guy and get caught up on the vlog. I think it should be pretty easy. I'm only one behind, which means I have to edit two vlogs today. Thank you. Oh, you wanna read about the zoo? Okay, let's read about the zoo. Little baby Daniel has brought over his favorite book, Baby Listens. Let's give it a read. What are the sounds that baby hears when he listens hard with his little ears? Birdies in the treetops, cheep, cheep, cheep. Pussy cats meow and moo says the cow. Mm. Oh my god, I swear this is the first. He's trying to put his book away. Nice try, Daniel. Time for a quick Stadia update. I've got the two controllers there. They're set up and configured with my TV and my Chromecast Ultra. Works really well. I cannot tell that it is a remote connection at all. The controllers are surprisingly awesome. And I wish they worked with my phone wirelessly, but they don't do that yet. So hopefully soon that'll work. It's almost too native. When I see all these loading signs and boot up signs, I'm like, why don't you just have a VM with the game state saved somewhere that takes me exactly where I want to go? And while the controllers themselves are fantastic, right? They're USB-C, they're light, they have really good controls, really good compatibility with phones. The power cables they come with are USB-A to USB-C, which, which means basically you can't use these cables that they come with to connect your phone to the controller and these cables really aren't designed for the long term, right? They can't do the fast charging that a USB-C native plug would be able to do. I feel the same way about the Chromecast Ultra. I wish that it was USB-C. Instead, they transfer both power and ethernet over this legacy micro USB cable. But there's no reason for this. Why wouldn't they just make it all USB-C and then you could theoretically use the power and ethernet adapter with your phone? Imagine having a nice ethernet connection for your phone when playing Stadia games. Daniel, we just did the math and you slept the whole night. Literally, your whole night. You slept eight hours. You did it. You're a big boy. Time to go in your own room. Good job. We're gonna destroy well, now, it. Now that he's sleeping through the night, it's time to put him in his own room, right? right? <laughs> just ruin destroy it all. Destroy everything. We're gonna ruin his sleep. Major project of the day, disassembling his crib from our room and reassembling it in his room. What do you think of your, your crib? New, new crib location. You excited about your room? I'm excited. Daniel now has his own bed in his own room. <laughs> Daniel, this box is too big for even you. I think we need like two or three more babies in here for this to be the right size box to pull you around in. But let's try anyway. No, you're gonna carry them, boo. It's only like 3.30 in the afternoon. All the toys have been put away. All the pictures have been hung along the stairs, celebrating our family together. This is one of my favorites. He looks so cute. So I had this crazy plan today to get eight hours of sleep, but we're already an hour past that scheduled timeline. But that's okay, because Stephanie was taking care of business down here. And while she was doing that, I was working on my email. I'm down to six emails in my inbox after a four day weekend. This feels so good. I'm ready to take on the week, figure out the important things and take care of them. Daniel's sleeping in his own room for the first time ever. That's a huge milestone. Oh, such a fantastic Thanksgiving break. And I'm really looking forward to the holiday break for Christmas and whatnot. I'm gonna definitely take advantage of all the family time and hopefully think about the productivity, think about all the things that we wanna do at the house and in our lives 